Today's video is all about the I Love Me book, what should go in it, and why you should have one. Hi, I'm Kylie, just another Army vet. I make military, medical, and veteran content. Today we're talking about the I Love Me book, which is also called a brag book. It is a big collection of everything you've done in the military. So let's talk about some reasons why it's important to have an I Love Me book. You need to keep all your documents that you get while in the Army contained and organized because there are things in here that will help you with promotion. This book is also good to maintain after you leave the Army. There are things in here such as awards, transcripts, and evaluation reports that you can use to help build your resume. There'll be times in your career where you will have to take some of this paperwork and turn it in to S1 or to your squad leader, platoon sergeant, XO, etc. Never give an original document to someone to turn in. Do not ever do that. Paperwork gets lost in the Army all the time. Instead, you keep the original document and you make a copy to give to someone. I sometimes find myself in a rush and don't have time to make a copy. So what I do is I make a copy of the document and I put the original document plus the copy and put it in the same plastic sleeve. That way I have it because of the fact that this book could get lost or stolen or damaged in a fire or flood. When I was setting it up, I went ahead and I scanned every single document and I put it on my computer and on a hard drive. It takes a lot of effort to do that, but all honesty, if this book ever disappeared, then I'll have that as a backup. I set my I Love Me book up in a certain way, and you guys certainly can set it up the way that you want to set it up. I have a table of contents, which is one of the first couple of pages. Awards, part one. Awards, ARCOM, A-M-C-O-A. And obviously, if you had anything higher than an Army Commendation Medal, then that would also go in that section. But these are the, these are the bigger awards. Uh, I have it organized by my ARCOMs, my AMs, and they have my Certificates of Appreciation. Everything is in reverse chronological order. So the top one is going to be the newest ARCOM. The bottom one will be the first one I ever received. Then I have all my AMs. Then I have my COAs. Again, reverse chronological order. Section 2 is Awards Part 2, which is going to be pretty much any other award, such as Good Conduct Medal, Driver's Badge, Humanitarian Service Medal, my German Army Partnership Badge, Meritorious Unit Commendation, my Campaign Medals and Bars for Iraq. Part 3. Certificate of Appreciation and Recognition. These are not going to be worth promotion points, but they're just kind of nice just to have as a reference or something that you've done. Certificate of Appreciation for Volunteering with my unit in Germany. Family Readiness Group and Medic of the Month. Part 4, Military and Civilian Education. I have my ATARS transcript, and then I have SSD2, things such as my Battalion Resilience Trainer Assistant, a combative course, BCT3 has 20, Field SAN, and also have my EMT, so my Emergency Medical Technician certificate in here, which, we, which medics get in AIT. And I even have my Basic Training Graduation Certificate. Then at the end of the section, that's where I have my college transcripts. I have a copy here, and then I have a, I have a sealed transcript also in the envelope. Section 5 you have certificates of training. Now, in all honesty, most of the stuff is gonna come down to trainings and classes for your MOS, so whatever job that you chose. I have some EMT stuff, medic, medical classes. I also have my FRG, my Family Readiness Liaison Training, DTS, and EMT Refresher. And I also have a driver's training certificate. Part six, I have it down as NCOERs, but it's really going to be evaluation reports. So if you're an officer, it would be an OER. And if you're a NCO, it would be an NCOER. I have this in reverse chronological order. So the newest one's going to be first and the bottom one will be the oldest or my very first NCOER. Part seven is qualifications and license. I have my weapons card, I have my PT card, my NREMT, my BOS card. 
I have some food handling and sanitation, NVG cadre, PMCS cadre, all these random licenses, my army standard license for vehicles, and I have the DA form 348, which is your record of driver's education. Part eight, orders. I just have my promotion orders, my discharge orders, DD form 1610, which is authorization request for TDY travel. That's very important. And I have orders to all the duty stations, of course. And I even have orders to go to Iraq and then some overseas stuff, some NATO orders. Everything is in here and organized. You have other documents that you'll want to keep as well. But you might not necessarily want to put it in your I Love Me book. I have my equip paperwork, which is when I went to get my secret security clearance, my enlistment contract, my re-enlistment contracts, a birth certificate of my children, a deer's enrollment, my marriage copy of my marriage license. I also have some name change paperwork, some DA 4187s, which is a personnel action. My most recent CIF clothing record as well. Something you could also keep in here would be your most recent LES, which is leave and earning statements. And you could also put your DA31, your leave and pass forms in this binder. Those are just some examples of documents that you could keep in here. One thing I chose not to put in these two books are all my certificates for online training. Instead, I keep a one inch binder with all my certificates in it. And as I complete a class, I just print it out and I put it in the binder. For me, I just found that to be a little easier. You can easily go ahead and make a section in your I Love Me book and just do online training certificates. Again, I'm Kylie, just another Army vet. If you're curious about what duty stations are close to the beach, then check out this video right here. Please give this video a like. Until next time, thanks for watching. Signing out.